we live. Oh, uh, it's plugged in, right? Maybe. Oh, yeah, because you got to get yours. Yeah, yeah. Looks like, yeah, it looks like you're good right there. Yeah. Good, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Um, <clears throat> hey, Shalom Akim. Uh, first off, we like to give all praise to Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Ba'ashim, Double honors to the apostles of GMS. Uh, honors uh, to our elders who deserve double honors too. Okay, our big brothers of GMS. Uh, honors and salutations to the brothers in this country and all of the world who are prophesying in the true name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweshai. All right, and who are scattered abroad. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, as you see through the title, it's reading um, uh, the essence of the kingdom. Okay, and this is uh, uh, really coming off uh, the video we saw of uh, the brother. Um, Shakya? Shakya. 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 That's what you said. Shakya. Shakya. The brother Shakya, shalom to you. The spirit of Yahweh Shimon Shai. GMS Chicago. He's out of the GMS Chicago camp. Uh, the brother made a very, very uh, uh, powerful testimony uh, video this week. Okay? So, you know, brothers in the spirit and in, in the spirit of Yahweh Shimon Shai are, are, are reacting like wildfire. Making all these videos off of that, you know, but um, you know, this is gonna be the same thing. We're gonna make a video off of that, inspired by that vision that the brother Shakyath, um, did I say it right? Sh Sh Shakya. Sh uh, the brother Shakyath out of the Chicago camp uh, made. Okay, and hey man, it's a beautiful thing because it proves what um, Acts. Man, if it, let's get that real quick. Uh, uh, 14, yeah. 22. You know, the, your day should your dream dreams real quick. Mm -hmm. Dream dreams. That one, right? Your daughters and your sons are your dreams. Oh, so we're right. going to well, second chapter. It's both is in Both, yeah. yeah. It's, it's the one. Yeah. 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 Um, show now what? That, you know, in the last days, you know, Israelites will be getting visions. Whether it be a woman or a kid or your father, your uncle, or even men of the Lord. They will be getting visions, you know. And uh, this brother got a heavy, heavy vision uh, of the kingdom of heaven, okay, on earth. With the nation of Israel ruling, okay, in the in their rulership or in their heaven, so to speak, all right, in their haven, in their peace, okay. Uh, so uh, this is the, this video is going to tackle that 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 subject in the spirit, man. The essence of the of the kingdom of heaven. Why it's going to be that way, all right. I got that. Okay, come. All right. So this is Acts two and seventeen. It says. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith the Most High, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And That's right. All flesh. Uh-huh. Keep going. Yeah, all flesh. So <laughs> what's the proof of that? Is that what? That's prophecy. And it came in the, it came into pass already. Because why? Uh uh last week we did a show on a video yep. that uh, a brother, I forget what camp Dallas. It, was it oh Dallas? Yeah. Okay, the the brother in Dallas, okay, I, I don't know his name. But the brother in Dallas, his wife, all right, encountered, his wife works in a hospital, all right, and uh, she encountered a, uh, a patient that she wasn't even looking over who showed her a, a, a dream or a vision he had, and he was, he was all flesh, right? He was, he was an Edomite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even an Israelite. He was a, a heathen. He was a heathen, all right? So that's, and he had, he had a vision of what? Of him going up to the spiritual realm. And and, and, and and for some reason, knowing that he was, he was insignificant, man. He didn't matter. Okay? And, 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 so on, so on, and so on and so forth. We did a video on that last week. But the point is that even that heathen, he got a vision. Okay, so that scripture is true. Mm -hmm. It says, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Yeah, see, so it says your young man shall see visions. Now this young man or this brother, this soldier, uh, fellow warrior in this truth in the G Chicago camp, a uh, Shakyath, sh sh okay, uh, had a, had a, 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 one of the deepest visions we ever heard, hmm. ever, really, uh, uh, the clearest visions we ever heard, um, and and the total, sp and, and it was a spirit, it's a, it a vision directly from Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, based on how he was. Breaking it down based on the detail, okay, and based on everything we've seen, we can we we knew we know 
that through the spirit of Yahweh Shemesh Shai, he, he showed him something special. And he shared it with us through the spirit. And that's what we're doing the show. All right? Yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead. Just to add to the brother, you know, even, I think it was like two weeks ago, when you had the brother, um, the leader of the LA camp. His son had a dream, man. Mm. And you know, three represents what? Uh, understanding, man. Mm. You understand that the most high is coming back real soon. Well, even uh, uh, this brother, uh, Gabarba, you just mentioned to me, there was another... Brother, yeah, they had a dream about the 144,000. Yeah, there's another video out there which you sent me. I'm going to look at later. From um, Street Teachers, um, South, South, South Carolina. Carolina. South Carolina, okay, yeah. Okay, so Street Teachers in South Carolina, he had a vision, or uh, was it a vision you said, or a dream? It was a, um, a dream, which is probably the same thing, vision. The same thing. With the 144,000. Yeah, the dream of the elect, basically. Okay, the 144. All right, so, you know, you know, you already get the point. And just proving the power of, of uh, Yahweh Shemeshai and how beautiful um, this thing of this, this thing of ours mm -hmm. is. Starting with Yahweh Shemeshai. So without further ado, we'll just get into some scriptures. Um, first, we'll start with the definition of uh, of essence. Yep. Real quick. <clears throat> All right, the definition of essence. Because again, this is uh, called the essence of the kingdom. So we're gonna ride with that spirit, okay? All right, the intrinsic nature or indispensable quality of something. Okay, so the intrinsic nature or indispensable quality of something. So let's look up, um, the brother has the word intrinsic mm -hmm. so your brothers could further understand. Yep. Uh, this is intrinsic, uh, belonging to the essential nature or constitution of a thing. <laughs> so you already, scripture's popping in your head right now already. Mm -hmm. So again, select. Belonging to the essential. Belonging to, okay. So number one right there. So. When you say uh, the eccentric nature, right? You're saying the belong to mm. of nature, or belong to which is natural. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. if you go back to it, said the eccentric nature of something undisposable, this undisposable, which undisposable means you cannot throw away or you right. cannot take 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 away. Mm. So furthering, which I know scriptures popping up already, mm -hmm. the furthering that what that so. that this truth. That this truth, the, 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 the promises, Abraham to Isaac and Jacob belongs and it confirms it, it belongs to the children of Israel. Because eccentric means belonging to. Who does the kingdom of heaven belong to? The nation of Israel. The so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Who is it given to? The nation of Israel. Who was, um, what's another part of that definition? You said intrinsic. I'm sorry. Oh, come I said back, something else. Yeah, back in intrinsic. Belonging to the essential nature or constitution Con of a thing. Constitution. There you go. Mm -hmm. The constitution of a thing. What's the constitution? Well, the covenant. Yep. The contract. Agreement. Yep. Agreement. Okay? So, it, it just flows beautifully together, man. All right? So, basically, eccentric means what? Belonging to something. And what, what confirms the belonging to is the contract, the covenant, the or... or in translation of promises, the promises that was given out to Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers, which the promises was the covenant or the contract uh, of of the uh, the kingdom of heaven, the promises that the Lord was gonna, the Lord was the Most High was gonna send His Son to save us and deliver us out of here and to be our King forever, in in the future kingdom to come, which is here. And this, and this brother got a powerful vision of that man. All right. Good scripture. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is Psalms chapter 94, verse 14. It says, For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. Mm -hmm. That's right. Beautiful. You see that? And that proves that we are, the we, are, we, are the, we are Zion. We always do go through Zion. Zion means a monument to remember. So our name shows us that the Lord will not forget us. Okay? Again? Uh, oh, so okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Psalms 94 and 14. For the Lord will not cast off his people. Neither will he forsake his inheritance. Mm. Well, that's clear. I don't need to break that down. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got, I got some. Some real quick? Yeah. And then hold that definition still. All right. Mm -hmm. This Psalms 89 and 34. My covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. <laughs> Read it again. Uh, Psalms 89 and 34. My covenant will I not break. My covenant will I not break. Why? Because it's good to say, I am the Lord, I change not. So that's the thing about the, the see that's the thing about Yahweh Shimon Shai. Yahweh Shai, his other name is known as trustworthy. He's trustworthy. You can always trust mm -hmm. in him through the power of the most high. He's faithful. So you can trust in Yahweh Shimon Shai, and that's gonna change. 
That's why we say Esau is the devil because he changes his laws every goddamn day. It's something yeah. called amendments. Yeah. You know, he amends this, he amends that. Oh, wait a minute, you can't do this anymore. Well, well I thought I could. Well, no, you can't do that. It's changed, got changed to this now. You know, mm -hmm. everything's changing in this fucking kingdom, man. All right, but in the kingdom of heaven, nothing's going to change. Mm -hmm. It's going to be pure. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be always the way it was since the beginning. Again, it says, my covenant will I not break. Yeah, the covenant he will not break. So the brother just brought out Zion. The Lord will not break the covenant that he gave to us. Even though you got you got Jake up there looking like crackheads. Even though you got the black bitch looking like a wild animal in the streets. Even though you got our men on the bottom on the bottom in the ghettos. Don't matter. The Lord is he's not going to break the covenant. Mm -hmm. Even though you see a nation of Israel all fucked up right now, he's not going to break the covenant. We're going to we're going to go back to that to that uh, elite level that we're that we're that we're naturally supposed to be in. Cuz the nation of Israel, what you see now, that's not their natural state. Right? That's not this is not our natural state, man. Okay? It says, "My covenant will I not break." nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Yeah, so the Lord will not alter the things that are coming out of his lips. He's not going to change. But your scriptures say, uh, I'm the Lord, I change not. You know? It's like, yeah, something Yeah, real quick, I, I got a piece of food. Okay. This is Isaiah, you, you speak? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is Isaiah 49 and 14. But Zion said, said, Yahweh Bashimi I was shy, hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. That's right. That's what you, uh, Jake be saying in the ghetto, that's what Jake be saying in the jail system, that's what Jake be saying in the streets, you know, they say the same thing. Uh, he, the, the God don't exist. If the God exists, why are we getting shot? Why are we in the ghetto? Why are we getting shot down? Why are this and that? You know what I mean? So, again, this is um, Isaiah 49 and 14. But Zion said, Yahweh, for Hashem, Yahweh Shai, hath forgotten me, has forsaken me, mm -hmm. and my Lord hath forgotten me. And that's what it feels like because the Lord's not here, He's not showing us no visions. Even in, even in the time when the, when we were going off, but we still knew we were Israelites, we were still yeah. speaking the language, the Lord will still deal with us. We would actually see angels. We would actually see the Lord. We would actually hear his voice. We would see chariots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is still what we're going off, yeah. you know? Still being uh, 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 taken over by other kingdoms. But at least he was, he was in contact with us, yeah. you know, and showing us great things. But now in this time, there is no contact. There's no great visions. There's no like, well, I'm not, I'm not saying like that. There's a great vision we're doing a video on. But I'm saying there's no deliberate Yahweh Shai has a vision and he pierced to this brother or. Like constant, like visions. Like, yeah, constant. Like, yeah. Back back, like. like, for example, Samson. Samson's when he was born, an angel came down and literally talked to the, the parents and, 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 and went back up in the spiritual world in, in incredible fashion, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. Jumped, into the fire. Jumped into the fire. Jumped into the fire. Right? You know, you, you had. Uh, when Moses went to go, uh, well, I mean, he's an elite, so, but still, when Moses went up and, and got the commandments, he actually saw the back of the Most High, mm -hmm. and then he actually saw Yahweh Shai in the bushes, in the bushes, the burning bushes. I mean, there's many accounts, you know? Abraham. Oh, Abraham. And you've seen, you know. Samuel. Samuel heard the Yahweh Shai's voice. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Peter, oh, we could go to Peter. Peter got uh, escaped out of prison, prison from him. because angels took him out. Yeah, changed. I mean, these are these are a, a, a direct contact, all right? Direct contact with uh, elite beings, man. Which mm -hmm. who 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 are our our, our, our brothers? Mm -hmm. But in this time, we're not getting none of that, man. That proves that we're in a time of total faith. You know that that it's like side to side by side. It proves we're in a time of that total faith. But the point is, um, we we'll, we'll, we'll read a slide. I just uh, yeah, this is um, I said, well, uh, real quick. Uh, it's so bad, yeah. right? Our people don't even. Okay, understand a concept of having a, a represent a represent a represent a representative yeah, from yeah. the Most High on Earth. Like yeah, yeah, they yeah. don't understand the concept of a prophet. Like yeah. prophets would 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 be would would represent the Most High and yeah. speak. The Most High would speak through prophets, uh, or would speak to the people through prophets. Yeah, it's so bad that people can't. We don't. Our people as a whole don't even understand that concept. Like yeah, there's prophets here on Earth. Yeah. You know, nah, you're right, brother. Because when when uh, when the Israelites in the ancient world, even though they were going off, this if they saw a prophet, they yeah. knew. Okay, wait a minute. Some drunk. This, this this has a, he has a message of bad news. Yeah, what do right. we do now? But the brother's absolutely right through the spirit. The elders right. right now. They don't even understand what a prophet is. They have no concept of it. They that's why. No concept of what a prophet is. Yeah, that's why they see us out there. They scoff. They mock. Oh, I got it right here. You got some. Okay. This is First Samuel sixteen and four. It says, and Samuel, which was a mighty prophet, right? Which is Sorry. considered the, 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 
Well, oh, the first prophet. If they you say. consider the first consider prophet, the first prophet. Mm. it says, for, uh, 1 Samuel 16 and 4, it says, And Samuel did that which the Lord spake and came to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Comest thou peacefully? Yeah, peacefully? Because yeah. <laughs> <See? You know? laughs> they knew he wasn't coming. That, that, that so proves that. When that you when, see a prophet, you, see like, oh, prophet, shit, you know it's, it's about, you know, there's a, 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 a condemnation is, is at, is well, at hand. Yeah, he's coming, he's coming here to deliver a message. A hard mm -hmm. message. Yep. You know, hard judgment. You know? So yeah, brother bro, bro, just pulled out the proof. There's more? Yeah, one more mm -hmm. verse in it. It says, and he said, peacefully, I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sacrificed Jesse and his sons and called them to the set. So this is when he was choosing uh, so uh, the next king. king. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, David, yeah. David, oh, David okay, king, okay, yeah. okay, come, come. You know, because uh, I believe Jesse was his father. He was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse right, and his yeah. sons. And, you know, but yeah, yeah. That's, that's just a Come, thing. come. Beautiful precept, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So um, back to what you had. Yeah, yeah. this is um, Isaiah forty nine and fourteen. But Z but Zion said, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten about me. Yeah. So yeah, they 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 actually say that. And one of the key points is that they don't even understand the concept of a prophet no more. Mm -hmm. That's why when we're out there, they laugh at us, they scoff at us, and you know because it's not in there. The Lord even took that away from them, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, you had what in the spiritual in, in the ancient time at least. When, when shit used to be fucked up or, you know, out of hand or whatever, so to be, the, the people would look for prophets, for answers. They would call them the seers. But are they looking for the prophets now? Hell no. They don't understand the concept of a prophet now, man. That's why people laugh and, and scoff and mock at us in the streets, or our people do. You know? That's how fucked up they are, man. That's what that's a curse. That's what the Lord did to them. Hmm. He took away their language, their customs, their heritage, and even um, the idea of a prophet away from our people, man. Which they believe a prophet is a, a, a guy with a three piece suit, yeah. call himself Cruffalo Dollar yeah. with with with, uh, with, with S curls in his with hair. Joe man. Osteen. Yeah, Joe Osteen. Yeah. yeah, and the Edomite. Yeah, that, that that's what that's what our people think a prophet is now, man. Hmm. You know, a Dr. Martin people who come with peace, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, yeah. They think a, a man of the Lord is someone who comes with peace. But when the ancient world they said do uh, you have a peaceful message? Meaning that hope they hope they he hope he has a peaceful message. Yeah. You know? Cause, cause that that's showing you that uh, the prophets, right? Uh, they weren't uh, the nice guys that are portrayed now, or Come. what people look for now, like a, a nice, well-spoken person. Come. When they saw a prophet, they were like, "Oh shit, he's here to curse, curse, curse us out." Oh, we, we, we fucked up. What do we do? Yeah. He, he he's he, he's he's coming to curse us out, man. Up. You know. So it, they didn't have. So they understood that a a, a, a man of the Lord, which. A lot of uh, uh, or a true prophet of the Lord is gonna come and curse you the fuck out, man. Not speak nice to you and and promise you uh, uh, the, the 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 Lord is gonna love you if uh, you know you you ask for blessings, you yeah, know, come. you know. Come, yeah. come, man. Fifteenth verse. Mm -hmm. It says, "Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yeah, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee." Yeah, so uh, it's impossible for a woman to uh, forget her uh, her baby or sucking child, but let's say she does, all right? It's impossible for the Most High to forget his people. The, script, the scriptures describe, the Most High describes us as a nation to him as uh, engraven in the palm of his hands. That's what the Lord describes his people. The Lord describes his people as the apple of his eye, okay? So, I mean, you know, you use the eye to see. I mean, I mean you understand, all right? Yeah. So this is how close we are and how, 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 how one we are in, in harmony we have by Shema Shai. Okay? That was it. It says, Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that was, that's the script. Oh. I said, I have graven thee in the palm of my hands. Okay? That's right. Mm -hmm. It says, Thy walls are continually before me. That's right. Yeah, you see walls before us in a room. That means you can't ignore these walls. The Lord, can't, that's how the that's how the nation of Israel are to the Most High. They're like walls. He can't he can't ignore you. All right. It's a form of protection, also. Con. That's right. You know, because we we are a part of Yabashim Hashem. He's you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It says, "Thy children shall make haste, thy destroyers, and they that made thee waste shall go forth of thee." 
Lift up thine eyes round about thee, and behold, all these gather themselves together and come to thee. As I live, saith the Lord, thou shalt surely clothe thee with them all as with an ornament and bind them on thee as a bride doeth. Huh? That's basically uh, told about slaves, basically. We're going to have these other Gentiles, the other nations as slaves, man. Yeah. They're going to belong to us, going back to what? Revelation, Revelation 2, 25, Psalms 2. You know, we're going to have the, the nation. The Lord says he's going to use the nations as garments over us, man. You know? Huh. That was it. Yeah, to, uh, real quick. Oh, uh -huh. 22nd verse. I'm um, going down real quick. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, Behold, I will lift up mine hand to the Gentiles, and set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. And the king shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth, and lick up the dust from thy look up the dust off thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh Bashim Shai, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. <laughs> yeah, so who's waiting for the Lord? Well, none other than the awful elect that we are. None other than the men that are going out there and prophesying with the Holy Scriptures that are condemning the so-called white man, condemning the wrong from the right and the right from the wrong. All right? Those are the ones and who, who are waiting for Yahweh Bashim Uh Those who have the name, those who confess the name of Yahweh Shema Shai on earth, those are the ones waiting for the Lord, man, and doing His work, which is none other than the elect. Okay? Um, and it says, we're not going to be ashamed. Right? Because when the kingdom of heaven, there's going to be, uh, like I said, you got it on, on deck, Isaiah 45 and 17 or something. Mm -hmm. I got it. Um, saying that a uh, world, without, world without end, okay, um, should not be confounded. No, matter of fact, okay, okay. It's Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Yeah, we're already saved. The whole nation's already saved. You know, but we just got to play out the salvation. Yeah. There's two parts, okay? One, the first part is the elect. Right? The elect is going to be delivered on this side, along with the, two, with the one third. The one third of Israel, which are the believers, the close friends, and the family of the prophets. All right? That's the one third, and the elect, the nation of Israel. And then you have the two-thirds who are going to be uh, saved. They're saved already because the Lord died for them. He shed his blood for all Israel. But they're going to be born back into the kingdom through the elect. Okay? So basically I'm saying that the, that the two-thirds will be the children of the elect. Mm -hmm. All right? The fathers, uh, the fathers will be the, excuse me, the two-thirds will have fathers which are the elect. The elect are the fathers of the two-thirds. Mm. So you're going to be born. We're going to have you as kids. You're going to be born through us. Okay? So that's how you're going to be saved. All right? The two-thirds. Yeah, it reads, it says, You should not be ashamed or confounded world without end. Yeah, world without end, which, which, which is the, which is the uh, essence of this video. All right? Talking about a world without end. But why would it be a world without end? Why will the nation of Israel go on forever? Well, we're about to go into it through this show because we're going to be perfect. Why, how are we going to be... What is perfection... Uh, upon the nation of Israel have to do with being being uh, living forever. Well, if you're perfect, that means we're, we, that means we're following all the law, statutes, commandments. Mm -hmm. That proves that it's going to be instilled in us for us to never go off and to be right with the Lord forever. And why does that make sense? Because why? In Romans the sixth chapter it tells you that the wages of sin is death. Okay. So what makes us die is sin. It's going off. All right. It's committing sin. You know, started with when Adam, when Adam listened to Eve and brought in death to the world because th that sin was going into other philosophies, man, breaking the commandments, All right? So number one, if you're going into another philosophy, which is breaking the first commandment, you, you, you're bringing in death. You're done for mm -hmm. because the first commandment is what? Uh, uh, thou not serve no other God. Yeah, thou shalt not put no, God, put no other God before me. All right? So we're not going to do that in the kingdom. <laughs> All right, along with all the other laws, is going to be instilled in us like instinct, all right, like breathing air. Okay, that was it for that? Yeah, that was another one. Okay, so back to yep. what you uh, had, right? Uh, the definition of essence, mm -hmm. the, intri the intrinsic nature or indispensable quality of something, especially something abstract that determines its character. Khan, one more time, I'm sorry. Time. I'm sorry. The intrinsic nature or indispensable quality of something. Okay, right there. So the intrinsic nature or the indispensable quality of something. 
So intrinsic rivalry looked up and proved that it means belong to, and it means, um, what was the other one? It means belong to. And belonging means, to the essential nature or constitution of a thing. Okay, it's a lot, yeah. So it means belong to, and it means a constitution of a thing, which proves that what? That that we belong to Yahweh, all right? Yahweh by Shemesh Shai, and the constitution of a thing is the, is the covenant or the kingdom or the promises, mm -hmm. Okay. And then it says the in, it said the indispensable, right? Um, indispensable or indispensable di quality. Indispensable something. quality. What's the indispensable quality of us? Mm -hmm. Is that uh, uh, you can't throw out um, who we are. You can't throw out uh, uh, um, our righteousness. Oh, definition of indispensable. Uh -huh. Yep. One of them is uh, incapable of being disregarded or neglected. <laughs> Go ahead, mm -hmm. So it's it's. In, can okay, I read that again? It's like uh -huh. indispensable quality of a thing. So yeah. that that uh that that the kingdom is 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 for Israel, man, and nobody else. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. you know, that's, that's well, yeah, the brother said it perfectly. I, you know, <laughs> he said it in three four, three or four words, yeah. <laughs> which is good. It's a pithy statement, like proverbs, which means do it what he said. Uh, what'd you say? It's like he said. Um, <laughs> The uh, the kingdom is only for is uh, pretty much for Israel. Yeah, and nobody else. Come on, you no. can't you can't you can't change you can't yeah. throw it out. You, it ain't ain't. Yep. you can't disregard it. Can't disregard that's it. that's the deal. All right. Yep. Wait a minute. Let's, let's just okay. finish. Like, like. Uh, essence, the intrinsic nature or indispensable quality of something, especially something abstract that determines its yeah. character. Yeah. yeah, especially something abstract that determines his character. When I think about that, I think about, um, I think Deuteronomy 14, 14 and 1, I think it says, um, peculiar people, that one. Oh, right. I right. guess I got it. Oh, yeah, you got that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, Peter. Oh, I got that. Yeah, 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 Peter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got Deuteronomy 7, 6, then. You want to get that? Yeah, grab that. Yeah, one. I'll, one. I'll read this one right quick. Okay. okay. Uh, this is uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation. You see that? Chosen. Mm -hmm. So that chosen describes eccentric. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, why? Right. Because eccentric means belong to. Alright? Belong to. And what's this other part of belong? Right. Belong to, and it says, oh, oh, co uh, co a covenant or something like that. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, naturally uh, essential? It said, uh. uh, uh what? Uh, constitution? Constitution. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, intrinsic means belong to or a constitution. So one more time. Sorry. Come on. But ye are a chosen generation. A chosen generation. Talk about the nation of Israel. We're a chosen generation. We're chosen. Okay? Which proves that we're that eccentric people. That the, that we belong to the Lord and we have a, a, a constitution, which is a promises, which is the kingdom of heaven, uh, that the Yahweh Shemashah promises. Mm -hmm. A royal priesthood of an holy, uh, an holy nation, mm -hmm. a peculiar people, that ye, should, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's right. Um, so that said a lot there again. I'm sorry. And real quick, when it says mm -hmm. a royal priesthood, you know, that's going into the Constitution, the law, oh. you know? You know? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, a royal priesthood pr goes into what this brother, um, uh, uh, um, Sh uh, Shakyath? Shakyath. Shakyath, the brother at Chicago, that goes into his vision he had. Yeah. His vision described a royal people, man. You know, man, I mean, uh, you know, I'm going to rant too much about it, but I mean, it, really, there's no words to describe it. I'm not being corny or cliche. The, the, this brother's video was, uh, if you if your faith did not uh, uh, increase by watching this video, something wrong with you, man. Mm -hmm. If you don't feel even better watching this video, something seriously wrong with you. You need to check yeah. your spirit, man. Yeah. You know, because all the shit you're going through, all the hell you're going through, man, this this video, definitely, through the spirit of Rabbi my Shai, is, is an uplifter and a faith booster, man. Like, uh, to, to I, I really can't think of another faith booster as, as, as big as this one. Real king, man. You know, because uh, this was the powerful vision that this brother got. And um, and through with his vision, you see how royal how royal we are and how much the lo the Lord loves us. It's like you know when you you know you know this stuff we love in this world. They may have been you know a woman, what the fuck these women, but they may have been, been a car. You I mean you love a car a lot, you love you love this sneaker a lot, or maybe you even love a woman a lot. You know who knows? Or your children. And what do you let's, let's use the children for example? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have your child. What are you gonna do for your child? You're gonna discipline them and all this, 
But at the end of the day, you want to do everything for your child. You want to give him everything. If you live it up in a mansion, you make a million dollars, you want to make, you want you, you want your child to live up the same way you do. You want to give him everything. You want your child to be perfect. You know, you want your child to eat all. When you're raising your child, what are you going to do your child? You want to eat the best foods, the best veg, fruits, veg, fruits and vegetables. You want to be the smartest, the strongest. You want to do everything for your child to be the best. That's, and it just shows how much you love your child, you know? So the way, man, the way this brother broke down this, 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 this vision he had, all right, which we already know about, you know, we're, we're, we're hopeful to live. We're the prophets. We know about this, but it still enhanced our knowledge, man. Because the way this brother was breaking down how Israel looked in the kingdom, how the kingdom looked, how he, you know, how everything looked and how it felt, you know what I mean? Just showed the, the love it showed the promises, number one, but it showed the love Yahweh has for his people. Yahweh uh, Shemai Shah has for his people, man. Uh, because he beautified he beautified us. He put us in that natural state. Everything was perfect. And I mean, I, I don't need to go on no more. That's just something yeah, real quick. Yeah. Because if he, um, like in his dream, his vision, he's, he's breaking down, you know, um, he said that this was in, in between a thousand years. So you know, mm -hmm. in between a thousand years, you're still bringing back the two thirds. So he possibly seen some of the uh, the one third and the two thirds there in the in the, in the providence, in the in, you know in the main you know the main place. The grand course. The grand course. course. Yeah, 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 the marketplace. So you were seeing he, what he was seeing because like I say it's the middle of the, you know of the thousand years. Remember we got to bring back because after the thousand years all the Israel's gonna be back already. Mm -hmm. So he, we were seeing you know like the you know the, that's why he said they reverenced him because they could possibly be. You remember you know going back to Daniel's um, uh, two. So second chapter it says that um they should be a, a confounded they, 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 they should be ashamed twelve and two oh yeah yeah twelve, 12 and two, and two yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah they should be ashamed you know yeah, and some the, come back. the kingdom yeah so so, so yeah some I got I got you, you want to get it yeah so, this is a uh, uh, Daniel chapter twelve verse two huh. and many of them that sleep in the dust <clears throat> of the earth shall awake okay which is the two thirds coming back uh huh some to everlasting life yeah which is which is which is basically the the, the uh huh and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And that's talking about the two thirds. And that everlasting the shame and oh, everlasting, oh, yeah. that's that's everlasting that's contempt. Oh, Matter of fact, can you oh, look, up, oh, okay. look up contempt real quick. I got you. Yeah. Real quick, because I want to, because the dream, like I said, that, that dream, that vision was basically showing um showing us the future of the kingdom, man. Huh. And the reason why the Lord gave that dream, you know, the, the Lord basically gave us, because uh, the Lord didn't have to do that. The Lord basically gave us hey, an extra faith, faith booster, man. Remember, the Lord says, um, the elect that, that use faith as their treasure, man. The well, ones that save faith as their treasure. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry to cut you, but what well, Apostle Ramla, he made a video. Oh. I don't really see that. You guys see that one? I didn't see the whole thing, but I... Yeah, you can watch that one, man. And he went on, well, he went into the video that the brother, uh, Shakif put up in Chicago camp. You see a little bit of it. And he said, uh, he brought out the, uh, uh, the scripture on the comforter. The Lord is the comforter. So the division that this brother got was like a comforter. Mm -hmm. it's, it comforted us, you know. He even said that. He yeah. said it was. A, it was a, he he felt comfort afterwards because before before yeah. he went to sleep, he was thinking about the brother that passed, and he felt sorry or he felt bad. Yeah. But afterwards, he he mm -hmm. felt he felt comfort knowing that he was good. Come yeah. straight, you know. Come. So, but I'll get right back to you. But the, the point is that even even I know, of course, you know. Again, we're hopeful. Like we're not no newbies here, right? But even me knowing about the the comfort. Scripture, even me, I, I I really understood even more on a deeper level what that comfort is just by this video. Mm -hmm. You know, I even even stood even more. You know, I, I'm honestly saying that. You know, so like this vision, it literally keeps you more comfortable mm -hmm. because you you can you you can go back and fall back on the spirit of Yahweh Shaman to to, to 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 fall back on the hell that you're going through in this in this mm -hmm. world, man. The, the, see, the, this truth is a comforter, man. You know when you go to bed and you lay, and you lay in your confidence and you lay in your pillow mm -hmm. after a hard day? This is what this truth is. And these visions are no different. So you're supposed to lean back on his, on, 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 on his, on his testimony that his brother had, on the scriptures, on the Lord. He is our comforter. He's the one who makes us feel better at the end of the day. Or it's going to be okay. You know? Yeah, yeah, right. This is um, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. It says, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the most high hath prepared for them that love him and that's why the brother you know the lord only gave him like a glimpse of, of the kingdom man just man. To, which is which is what 
brothers, you know, we want we want the kingdom. So it's, it was just a faith booster, you know what I'm saying? But that was just a glimpse of it. Yeah, you know, yeah. we have no clue. Like we just Lord just gave us like a scratch, like like a smell, like a smell. smell. Like, a smell. smell. Like, that's what I was thinking. Like a smell of sniff, not even a scratch on the surface. What a good a smell. smell mm, and a sniff of the kingdom, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, go, go, go. And, yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say that's a spirit because the brother said like what a good smell and I remember um dude he, he fell out whatever he was in the help and he was saying how when you cook and you um and you actually smell the food oh, yeah. it uh prepares your body it prepares mm. your digestive system to receive the food oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. so like, that's, that's what he's saying, saying like what a good smell right. right. You digest it that much great like mm-hmm. that much better yeah, yeah. Wow. you know that makes sense wow. because um I heard uh like overweight people when you're real fat. Or no beast, mm-hmm. like when they go in a supermarket and they smell food, mm-hmm. like right. smell something real strong, they yeah. actually gain weight, like you know, <laughs> gain pounds. I heard that that was a study years ago. Yeah, but just to relate to what you, you know, that makes sense. Yeah, because that builds our faith. That's our weight. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, I went a little sideways. Like, yeah, I'm thinking after this chapter. Where we at? Yeah, yeah, that's not. Yeah, yeah. Who's? Did the outfit? Did you read it? You want to contempt? Yeah, let me get contempt. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Um. What was that? Uh, Dara A1 in the Hebrew. Uh, aversion, abhorrence. Mm-hmm. Um, the strongest definition uh, from an unused root meaning to repulse an object of aversion, abhorring, contempt. You know, an abhorring means to avoid. Yeah, to avoid or, right, exactly. Oh, 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 right, oh, I think it's hate. Boring. I think abhorring means to hate. Oh, mm-hmm. to hate? Yeah, abhorring means to hate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, but, but, you know, meaning like, the fact that they reverenced him was showing that you know that that, that everlasting you know like, like oh my gosh like you know a shame like oh this is they, they, he's one of them right. because they're just meaning all Israel is gonna be saved but there's different levels like the apostle the horses there's gonna be different levels of Israelites let me say the elder real quick no no you were saying it it's okay yeah, yeah. There, there's different levels like he's gonna be Yahweh Shai King David the hundred forty four thousand the one third then the two thirds all right so basically they're reverencing what. The, the brother's being humble about it, but you know, possibly he could be 144,000. So, of course, the, the two-thirds or the one-third is going to reverence the 144,000 right. that stood so stiffly right. for mm-hmm. the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Mm-hmm. So, that's why that's why everything fit through the scriptures, man. Yeah. And that's how we know that's a vision because the Lord said, you know, um, only fools count every dream, but if it's a dream from the Lord, you know, it's from the scriptures, man. Well, everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, get that? Uh, yeah, come, man. Yep, and good. and we know that that's the spirit because everything is in the scriptures. So it's the people that the fact that they were showing him reverence, he was the brother was so humble that he he didn't want to say it because he was in the flesh. But which is he, another proof that it was from the Lord too, the way he articulated it, man. The way this brother articulated the video <laughs> was very good. But back up your point, that was still he was the way he the way he proves his spirit. He's an elect. Is uh, he was so humble. To not even say that he, he he didn't want to put that. But he said to to avoid anything that's prideful, anything close to prideful. I want to just you know he he, he just didn't want to say he was he a black. Say it. even though he 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 got that vision, you that know he was the like elect. he was the elect. He didn't want to run with it or he cause any kind of mm-hmm. you know controversy or division in the camp by doing that. Which which is another another which is one of the biggest things I got from the video too was how he. Was careful in wording that. Now he could have came out and said it. He could have came out and said it. Which it never, never would have been nothing wrong, but mm-hmm. it just signifies, it just signifies that dream through his spirit, like how he, how he said that, mm-hmm. that humility. Because the, an elect man or a man of the Lord, they're gonna have that humility, that humble, and an elect man, even though the thing is, even though if you let's say you think you know your man of the Lord, you're an elect, you're just gonna keep on going, man. Yeah. You don't want nothing to. Deteriorate you away from this truth to thinking to think and make like okay you're like I don't gotta do this work no more. Mm-hmm. You know you don't want none of that. Even right. though he even though he got that dream he could be like you know oh I'm gonna let now. Yeah, right, so I'm good. I could just take me a little bit a little bit you know. But no, he didn't want that to mess up his 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 his, his, his course. Even if you know you're like, you're still supposed to keep pushing on, like you're still doing this work, man. And at the end of the day, you're supposed to know you're, you're an elect. That's what I'm saying, man. You're supposed to know. We, we, you know, we believe we're already elect up here. That's what I'm saying. We believe, yeah. <laughs> we go through our stories wow. and all that, but yeah, yeah. we. I remember. I remember. Apostle Carl always said, "You're supposed to believe you're an elect. You're supposed yeah. to believe you're a man of the Lord, because that's what we are. We're su- we're, we're commanded to be that way. Yeah. So why not think you are you're an elect? You're supposed to. But out of uh, out of uh, humility. Yeah, you know, we say uh, the hopeful elect. 
you know, we don't want to be too, you know, super sure, you know, you know, but we're, but you're supposed to be sure in the spirit to know that you're in life and to stay the course, man. To, to do the will of the Heavenly Father through the power of Yahweh Shimon Shai, through the power of our big brother Yahweh Shai, man. You know? Yeah, you, you go ahead. You, you finish with that one? That's the definition. Yeah. Okay, so let me let me just go back to this real quick. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. It says, But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of the of man the things which the most most high hath prepared for them that love him. Okay, and that's talking about what? The the they'll let, man. It, which is the 144,000 and one-third. We, we have no clue, all right, what the Lord has prepared for us. I mean, that was just, that was just a, quick, a quick, I don't even want to say a preview, you know? But that was kind of a preview that the Lord sent, um, which was a gift that the Lord sent through that brother, man, of what the kids could be like to, to, to know what. What I got out of that, we don't got, if we keep going the course, man, really, we don't have nothing to worry about. Yeah, worry about we have man. nothing to worry about, man. Worry about, man. All right? The kingdom's already set, but all we got to do is keep on going, man. Well, even the way he described the people, he was like, he saw the other elders, the other, you know, he described them as like, they had, they were just complete, how did he say it, complete, um, content, no stress, it was complete happiness. Lightness yeah. in their spirit. Light, yeah. Lightness in their spirit, complete joy. Complete joy. No, no like, worries. The best, uh, you know, I got you some. gotta say, yeah, yeah, bring it out, yeah. This is Re Revelation 21 and 4. Huh. It mm. says, and the Most High shall wipe away the all tears, tears from right. their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any pain, for the former things are passed away. Con, read that again. Right. Uh, this is Revelation 21 and 4. And this is um, this basically in the, in the kingdom of heaven. Because mm -hmm. the first verse, the first verse is talking about the kingdom of heaven coming down. He's seen he see New Jerusalem coming down. Which are the elect men coming down from the chariots. Right, yeah. So, uh, verse 4, it says, And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, mm -hmm. and there shall be no more death. No more death? Meaning that what? When it means no more death, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean just death. What brought death? Okay? We always, we we'll almost just get it. Let's get the last chapter. Uh, uh, Romans 6. Oh, 6. 6 and the last verse. Because it said there should be no more death. And then get a Saint uh first John three and uh four. Is that three four? Transgression breaking the law. Oh first John. Oh, right. Is that first John, right? First John three and five. Yeah, three, yeah. four, three, five, yeah. something like that. Right? Yeah. Okay, so like read that again. Okay. It says Revelation twenty one and four, and the most high shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and mm -hmm. there shall be no more death. There should be no more death. Okay, what does it mean by no more death? Got that? Yeah. But you, uh, you got that. Get that. You get that first. Mm -hmm. Romans six twenty three. It says, "For the wages of sin is death." Yeah, I always bringing this out. The wages of sin is death. Again. For the wages of sin is death. Yeah. So the wages of sin is death. So again, I always break down. If you were to, uh, if death were to get a payment, all right, what's the payment of death? How does death get paid? Is by sin. Or or or, or the wages of sin. Am I saying it right? The wages of sin is death. Yeah, the wages of or the payment of sin. Right. I was getting tripped up. No, yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the wages of sin. I'm looking, going into deep. The wages of sin is death. So mm -hmm. if, if 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 death were the figure and you were to pay death, right? How do you pay it by going off sinning, sin, sin, sin? Okay. So the more sin you accumulate, right? The more death you accumulate. So the wages of sin is death. That's how you break that down. So basically. Obviously, we're not following the commandments of the Holy Father, not us, but two thirds of Israel. So they're just accumulating sin. That's why you get niggas blasted in the ghettos, getting, getting dying the way they are, uh, getting hit by tra tractor tra trailers, you know, whatever have you, man. Okay. Uh, oh, a little more. Oh, so so more. Like but the gift of God is eternal life <laughs> through Yahweh Shai, our Lord. See, right. damn. See, I forgot, forgot about that. Read that again. Yeah, read that again. Well, the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. Uh, hold that. You got that? Yeah, this is uh, the definition of sin, pretty much. Um, um, 1 John chapter 3, verse 4, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Easy. Sin is a, is a, just, is a transgression of the law. Sin is a breaking of the law, which the law is only given to the nation of Israel when you go to, what, Psalms 147, 147 yeah. and 19. That's right. Okay, so the only people who can truly sin or break the law are the children of Israel. So-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans—they're the ones who can only truly sin. So to sin again is to uh, is the wages of the death. So if we're not going to sin anymore and be perfect, oh, read that last part. Read that again, Salah. 
For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Now, gift, I, I looked up the word mercy, and mercy means gift. So what, when it means the Lord shows you mercy, I'll say this. The definition of mercy means a reward or a gift. So when the Lord says, I will, I'll give you mercy, what does that mean? That means the wisdom, knowledge, understanding is that, is that, is that, uh, is the mercy, is the reward. Okay, so uh, you, you having this truth, you understanding this truth, the spirit of Yahweh Shemeshah, who you are as, as, as an Israelite, that you're the chosen, you chosen of God, all right? That's the gift, that's, that's the mercy. That's the, that's the reward or the gift. So this truth, at the end of the day, with everything that 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 involves this truth, right, is what is the law, statutes, commandments. Well, overall, the faith of Yahweh Shimon Shai. But what goes with that is the law, statutes, commandments that we're, that's going to be instilled in us to make us perfect to not go off no more. Yep. Which will make us give us that eternal life. Uh, read that last word again. But the gift of God is eternal life mm -hmm. through Yahweh Shai, our Lord. See, through Yahweh Shai, our Lord. Okay. So that 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 wisdom, knowledge, understanding, that mercy or that gift is really uh, uh, is the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, uh, through the power of the Most High Yahweh. All right, why? Because Yahweh Shai is the physical manifestation of the of the Word of the Most High. All right, and He is that Yahweh Shai is that part that brought us into the kingdom. All right, so Yahweh Shai is a gift to us, which is He is our mercy. He is He's the one pleading for us. He's our intercession. He's our mediator, and He's the one. Uh, 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 working with the Most High, the Most High is working to Yahweh Shai to give certain men this truth, which are the elect. And it all comes starts first with the name. Okay, Yahweh Yahu Shai, Yahweh Shai. That was it on that. Huh. Okay, yeah, you had something. To yeah, say. I got something real quick. This is Matthew twenty five thirty one. It's talking about the separation of the nations and stuff like that. Because, um, just like um, the other now they're saying um, that also the chariot of the city. That could be that, that could be twofold. That could be in many different ways. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we know through that that there was a separate because the world was way bigger, and that yeah. city was huge. And we noticed that there was a separation between Israel, man. All right, between other nations. All right, we're not gonna be mingling two nations. All right, your nation gonna gonna be wherever you're gonna be at. All right, because after the thousand years, gonna be in your land. But we're gonna be putting you wherever we need you to put you. Okay, until the kingdom is the, the kingdom is finished. But until then, we're not gonna be around you heathens, man. Okay, we're going to be separate from you. This is Matthew 25 and 31, right? It says, When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he, shall, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goat on the left. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what? The Lord is separating from all nations because we are holy people. So, of course, we're going to be... If the Lord's going to separate separate from all the heathens, He's going to separate us and have us closer to Him. Of course, we're going to be decked out. Of course, we're going to be having uh, 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 brand new bodies. And the way the, the brother uh, um, even described how, to, uh, how to, um, the Israelites looked in even um, in, even their garments. He said it was the elite yeah, yeah. of the elites, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said the garment even... Um, it, it, it not only uh, 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 it's like um, fixated to the body, fixated, tailored, tailored to the body, Each but, body. but it was tailored and, and it was coutured. It was co um, coutured to like the uh, your, your physical your, your physical, your physical attributes. Yeah. So like, let's say a brother might have a brother might have some brown traps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some shoulders. You gonna see? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the <laughs> You, you, like you, can, you can see the, 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 the garment. The garment is tailor made to um, to, to actually fit, fit around his fit trap muscle. You yeah, see the yeah, trap. Yeah, 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 basically, yeah, yeah. what he said is, you see, basically, what he said, you can see the striations through the like through the garment. That's what he's saying. God. Like how when just like an because I'm an anime head. When when a superhero has his garments, you can see the striations mm -hmm. in his in his joint to to make him look like a god. Yeah. So basically, if we're gonna be gods, gonna make the Sunday two and six. Even the striations was um was 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 shown through the garments, and two the the second thing was when you looked at you know the, um the Judite woman, which the Apostle Hall always says, brothers always talking shit yeah, about yeah, the Judite yeah. woman. She's gonna be the best. That's how he knows like confirmation. Yeah, she was so he, he happened to mention the Judite yeah, woman, yeah. and he said that she was so gorgeous, and they had like a um 
they had like a, 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 um, a, a, a um, what's the word he used? A renegade, not renegade, a um, regal, a regal look to him. Oh yeah, like, yeah, we should uh, say like, yeah. like, like I mean, like um, well yeah, yeah not shameful, but it's like it's like they, they had no no they had a royal yeah. flow to him. Yeah yeah yeah. A royal, what, vibe. Yeah, a, royal, a royal vibration. Yeah, a royal vibration. That's what that means. Like, they had a royal vibration. Cause he was but, saying, "I'm yeah, sorry, I'm yeah, gonna get right back." He was saying he was. She, they were humble. They were humble, but they still walked around with a, a, you with said a royal, 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 royal. You said it. You said it. You yeah. said it. Just, and that's, that's good. 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 Oh, it's locked. You got. No, I was, I was yeah. gonna say, I was gonna, and that's perfect how the woman should be. But what really got me to the point was he says her hair was so long, yeah. it was down to her knees, and it, he said it was about eight feet, six to eight feet long. So what I came to my mind was how big. Is the uh, how big are we gonna be? Yeah, yeah. Because if her hair is about eight to ten feet tall, she had. I mean, I mean, a six to eight, to eight feet tall. She had to be about twelve to 13, 14, 15 feet tall. Yeah. yeah how yeah. big are we gonna be? Because and then, of course, you said the Earth is bigger, so of course we're gonna be bigger. Yeah. The other nations ain't gonna be bigger, man. The other nations are gonna be still the same size. So we're literally gonna be. It's gonna be. When it says that um, the, the the chariots was literally in the sky, we're gonna be. Su- it's gonna be such a wide gap. Between us and the and, and the and the sons of men, you're gonna know. You get some like uh, you get some like two six. Uh, you you're right. The other nations they're gonna be a little bit bigger, than, but you're right. They're still gonna be way bigger than them. We're still gonna be way bigger, way than, bigger than, than them. Well, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna tell right. you why. It's like you're right. The other nations are gonna be bigger because of course the earth is bigger. Yeah, and, the food and they eat, you know. they're not you're eating GMO food, so they're gonna have things. They're gonna have things. They're gonna be better. They're gonna yeah. be better off. But it's gonna be such a separation. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. The between it's still gonna be a separation. Yeah, it's still yeah. gonna be a separation, even though they're gonna be living longer. They're gonna be you know they're gonna be a lot more uh, uh, strengthened. They're gonna be bigger than everything else. We're gonna be there's gonna be a separation between us and the and the other nations, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and and that's why because what we're gonna be perfect and following the law, statutes, mm-hmm. commandments. One of the law, statutes, commandments is the land Sabbath. So what you know you give the earth you give the earth a rest every seven years, and that that gives the earth uh, uh, time to rejuvenate, and that's why yeah. Yeah. replenish, and that's why it's gonna grow and be bigger. Yeah. And, the, and the fruit and and you know and the fruit and the and the and the foods that it yields are gonna are gonna uh, benefit off of that too. So eventually we're gonna be bigger too. Now just a quick scripture, Second Ezra chapter five, uh, verse uh, fifty two. Say unto her, wherefore are unto they whom thou hast now brought forth like those that were before, but less of stature? Okay, mm-hmm. meaning we're we're, mm-hmm. we're lesser statues, we're lesser, we're, statues uh, lesser statue of what we were back in the day. Why? Because what? The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. wicked. You know, he fucked it up. This yeah. devil, you know, drill, baby, drill. He just R- keeps digging into the Sucking earth. Sucking the blood out the earth. Yeah. Read, read, what was yeah. that again? Was it? Um, Second Ezra chapter. Oh, okay. I thought it was, yeah, I know it was that the one. Second Ezra. What? I know uh, that one already. I thought yeah, it was something else. Five and fifty-two. You can continue. My bad. I didn't mean to cut you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me wait. Hold it back up. All right, come. Second Ezra five and fifty-two. Say unto her, wherefore are unto they. Whom thou had has now brought forth like those that were before, but less of stature. Mm. Okay, you know. So what we're going to be when, in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to be brought back to that stature which yeah. we were originally. Yeah. You know. And what, what was it saying before about King David? King David, yeah. even though he was, he was, even though he was like Ready? a shadow. No, he was like uh, way smaller than, than Goliath. Than the, he was like eight foot tall. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know you, I mean? well, yeah, you're right. Uh, I remember Elder Gad. He was the one who broke this to me. Right. He was saying, uh, I remember the first time he told me, <laughs> he was like King David was like ten feet tall. Right. You know, and his Damn. crown, his crown was, was seventy pounds. Seventy pounds. Oh, seventy pounds. He was saying okay. seventy pounds. Damn. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what he told he was saying to me. But yeah, still heavy as hell. And that was like average height. You know, back then. So Goliath, yeah, he was like, remember you told me you had to be like eighteen feet. You're about 20 feet tall. You know, 18, oh, 20 feet. Yeah, because yeah. that's, uh, uh, Goliath was, uh, he, he was like, a Philistine. Philistine. Yeah. Right? And they're, they're known for their stature. Yeah. They're known for their high stature, their height. You know? Which proves those people who call themselves, uh, uh, uh Egyptians today or whatever, they're not the real, they're yeah. not, they're average height, but the were two C's. I think S- Sudanese. Sudanese, right? Yeah, Sudanese. Yeah. They're the yeah. most yeah. tallest yeah. people on the planet by average. Mm. I think the average, I love tall, tall women, but anyway. But in average, the women out there like average six feet tall. Yeah. Like, so like, brother. You know, <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know. But the but the men they they, they average over like the women average six feet. That's mm-hmm. average. Yeah. Short short woman in 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 what is it Sudanese Sudan yeah. Sudan is like five it's five eleven. Now that you know, yeah. A, a man out there like they're like six three six four. That's like an average height. Like you know, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was one of them, right? Seven, yeah. Five, yeah. He was like fucking seven. He was oh, he was seven, seven six, seven, 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 yeah. seven five. Damn. So that's like tall for them, you know, like seven seven. But an average height for uh for for uh Sud- Sudanese who are the Mizoram or Egyptians is like six five, six four, you know. Uh, another quick example, um, back in Numbers, the 13th chapter and 23rd verse, and they came unto the brook of Eshel, uh, which cut, uh, and cut down from thence a branch with one cluster of grapes, mm. and they bear it between two upon a staff. And that's uh, the point right there. You, okay, yeah. You had two full-grown men carrying uh, yeah, a yeah, yeah, um, yeah. cluster of grapes. I Meaning them grapes I'm had to be the like the size of basketball. Because that, yeah, as big as a year. As big yeah. as now you got it. Now you got to ha- now. All right, now you have grapes the size of basketballs. Now how big are we going to be to handle like that? Right. You know, yeah, we're going to yeah, be that much bigger. Yeah, you know, yeah. they had to they had to been strong men carrying those two. You know, those two clusters. Yeah, clusters. Yeah, yeah, that's clusters. clusters. Yeah. 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 Now yeah. nowadays you can have a baby carrying clusters of grapes. Yeah, you know, pretty much. Yeah. And sometimes you have one of them fucking retarded fucking yeah, mini, grapes. Little, 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 they fucking small as hell and yeah, shit. Yeah, you know, I mean, a cluster of grapes probably was like. Like you see the gym teachers carrying all uh, the bag of balls and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's a great probably like a cluster of grapes right there. You know? All this is coming back in the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, we're gonna be brought back to our natural state and be be bigger as it says what in um uh, what's that, first Corinthians, the uh fifteen chapter and the forty you know, we're gonna be changed, you know, get those new uh, 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 we, right now we're in the it. terrestrial bodies, but we're in the uh, uh, we're gonna get those extraterrestrial bodies. I got something for you real quick. Okay, fine. precept. Yeah, fine. Um, you can break it down if you want. Uh, yeah. So just just back up with the wait. Did you read the same thing? I got as second verse is fourteen. No, 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 no okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Oh, so you actually do have something different. All right. So I got second verse chapter fourteen, mm-hmm. and just a perfect precept. What this brother brought out, okay? Because yeah. So you, if you listen to what we're saying, you gotta ask yourself, damn, what the what the hell's wrong with these grapes of today? You know, mm-hmm. these grapes are all fucked up. They're small. They're you know, they're all messed up. And this is why. All right, this is Second Ezra, chapter fourteen, verse uh, verse sixteen. It says, "For yet greater evils, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter." I'm reading a slide. Mm-hmm. For yet greater evils. Then those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Verse 17. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. Yep. Yeah, because the earth is being run by Esau, man. And like we said, like, you know, he does this devil doesn't let the let the earth uh, 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 rest every four, every, every every seven years, man. You know, because he's a damn devil. He doesn't go. Get, um, he doesn't follow the law, statutes, and commandments, which in turn, the earth is mourning for. It, you know, the, you're see, you're seeing it. You know, the earth is even to the point where it's fighting back now with the earthquakes. Exactly. Uh, 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 yeah. You know, wildfire, <laughs> wildfires, tornadoes. You know, this is all the earth fighting back against this devil, man. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, kind. I'll read it one more time. It says, "For look how much, how, look how much the world shall be weaker through age." So, before the Lord comes back, um, basically, until the Lord comes back, as time goes on, the world will get weaker, weaker, and weaker, and weaker. Yeah. It says, "So much more shall evils increase upon earth." So, as long if evils increase, the world is gonna get is getting weaker and weaker. Um, yeah, and it says, "So much more." Shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein? So that's the perfect precept with the brother brought out saying that we're gonna uh grow uh, uh lower in stature, you know. Yeah. I'm sorry, well, basically, if you're going to if you're going to weaker in age, that means we're gonna be lower in stature. I thought that this group has stature in it, but I guess I was wrong. That's what yeah, I was it just out. says weaker in the way, it says right? weaker, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that was it, the precept I had. All right, uh, so you, I think you was you was reading something, right? Um, no, that was it. I know you had stuff you're holding before. Uh, did I finish reading my Matthew twenty five thirty one? Let me right. yeah, okay. just get that real almost. I don't think because at the end of the day, we're we're trying to prove. I, I should have brought it the first few minutes, but um, um, when we looked up essence, the brother broke it down right. But essence, the, a, a good example of essence means um, right? Because we're talking about essence of the kingdom. So a good example would be drama, right? That right. definition brought out. Mm-hmm. So the essence of drama would be a uh, conflict. All right. Again, the essence of drama. What makes it drama? Conflict. So what make what will make the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of to, to the nation of Israel? 
Well, it's perfection. All right. So perfection is gonna is gonna uh, uh, what you really know what the perfection is is following all the law, statutes, commandments, and being instilled in us and not going off no more. That's what's gonna make us perfect in the future the kingdom to come. Because Yahweh Shai said his has shed his blood for us, died for us, and he's gonna be our ruler uh, here on planet Earth, man. You know. Precept. Mm -hmm. uh, this is First uh, Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse fifty. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Uh, yeah, corruption. Yeah, that was fifteen. Corinthians fifteen. You got? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the corruption is what our bodies. Right. These bodies are corrupted, man. You know, they get uh, the scriptures say what well, we die daily. Okay. Each second we live in this disgraceful world, uh, uh, we're 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 moving closer to our death. All right. Um, so this this body is corruptible. It, it's decaying as we speak. Mm -hmm. Yep. They, they also refer to it as the, the chains of darkness. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, yep. Mm -hmm. Verse fifty one. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. All right. So, in in in, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, you know, um, Lord willing, will be you know, will we'll be changed. Oh, beamed from, up from from corrupt, hmm. you know, beamed up into the chariot from uh, uh, uh from corruptible to incorruptible, you know, and and, and that's how we, and that's and that goes into what the essence of the kingdom of heaven, uh, 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 uh continuing forever and ever and ever. Because what the reason you mentioned it before, Elder, um, the right. reason, the uh, the reason the Lord took away our, our glory was because what we went up against the law, such a commandment. If the law, such a commandments, if we're changed and the and 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 and, and the uh, the the stony heart is removed and the heart of flesh, the law, such a commandments being put in our inward parts is put in, and we don't ever go off again. Why is the Lord going to take the kingdom away from us? Come. Hence, we're going to rule forever. Come. You know. Oh. Got you right here. There you go. Daniel 7 and 14. And there was given him dominion and glory. Actually, I'm going to start at 13. I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the son of man, talking about Yahweh Shai, came with the clouds of heavens and came to the ancient of days, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. Which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. That shall not be destroyed. And you know you got guys saying that you know uh, Esau, Esau Edom is done away with, and um, if Esau Edom is done away with, then that means that this is the kingdom of heaven right now. You know, so you mean to tell me that this is you know this this, this is the place? Mm -hmm. You know, potholes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, get out of here. GMO man. foods, man. You know. We were just going over the foods and stuff not to eat, and it's pretty much you can't eat anything in well, here, man. This scripture proved that, that why that's wrong. This is uh, Proverbs. <laughs> this is Proverbs 27 mm. and 1. 29. 29, I'm sorry, it's like. Two, yeah. Oh, 29, yep. yep. Okay, yeah, because 29, yeah. Uh, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2, and it says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Mm. <laughs> hey, now, like the vision, yeah, 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 just go. like the vision. Hey, one I thing, should have brought this up before. One, 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 thing, <laughs> one, one thing, one thing, the brother um, noted in his vision, you know, in his testimony, was just just the the light spirit on everybody yeah. and the glow and how mm, everybody glows. was mm. just in uh, decked out in great stature. They were rejoicing. Why? Oh, because oh, righteousness oh, is ruling the planet Earth. The planet Earth. You know, the the, the the nigga woman is the beautiful sight to see. She has hair all the way down to the back of her knees. You know what I mean? The most glorious thing you can lay your eyes on and behold. Yeah. You know why? Because the righteous are in authority, man. Wow. And even the men too. The men. Yeah. You know, we're gonna be a bunch of Brad Pitts, man. I mean, that's not a uh, that's a bad f way to put it, but I mean, uh, the 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 women they're gonna be gawking over uh, the men too. They're and, you know, gods basically. They're gonna be basically gods, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so that was a beautiful thing. You, you, you got to meditate on that, man, because you see our people today, you know, like, oh, you see basically the brothers describing all these women uh, together, talking, conversating. You know, a lot of these days, today's time, women hate each other, man. They all uh, hate each other, talk about each other. Mm -hmm. And the kingdom is not going to be like that. All the women are going to be all, you're all sisters. You're all family. The, the men, 
we're all brothers. We're all one. No argument. No killing each other. No yeah. going after each other in the streets. No gang uh, uh, violence and all that bullshit. No man. southern tribe versus northern tribe. Yeah, no none of that. Thing is, uh, it's just Israel. That's right. You know? Who was mm-hmm. saying, like, bringing up the kingdom as if the days were old? What were the women doing in the days of old? Like, remember, like, um, we were talking about it with um, mm-hmm. how, how Jacob um, 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 begat the 12 tribes of Israel through four baby mamas. Mm-hmm. Now, what was it when um, <laughs> when the women um, um, when the woman could stop, um, 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 wasn't able to bear ch- children anymore? They was like, wait, here, take my hand, take my hand yeah, You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what, what woman would do that here, man? Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what I'm going into what the elder had read in Revelation 21, where it says, the most high is basically going to turn back to former things. Right. right. Yeah. You yeah. know, and these were the former things going into what? The principle. All right. Because we, we value life. Exactly. You know, and when you go into essence, the synonym, uh, one of the synonyms for essence is, is the principle. So essentially what we're talking about, the principles of the kingdom. That's yeah. right. That's you right, know? brother. Yeah. And, right. and, 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 um, and, 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 it, and it was ordained to us, what, to uh, uh, be fruitful and multiply. Right. That's it. You know, how are you going to be fruitful and multiply with one woman, man? You know, the woman yeah, understood man. that. You know, they was like, here, you know, look, hey, there was, uh, women was out there finding other women for their men, man, yep. to, to multiply, man. You know? You burn, looks like? No, no, no. You got some? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Real quick, I was going to say go something. Ahead, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say that's going to come back in a major way, going back to Isaiah 4 and 1, because it says sure. seven women shall take hold of one man. Mm-hmm. Because you got to realize, man, like, in the transition of, of Esau's wicked uh, uh, sodomite world, okay, and the transition to Jacob's world, you women ain't going to be worried about, oh, well, that's my man. Right, you yeah, want to be worried about that. what? Yeah, about we need to be <laughs> saved. You look, you, you, you be looking for oh, saviors, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. right? You women be looking for the elect men, as it says in um, uh, Isaiah the thirteenth chapter, that's the ninth verse, where it says the men shall be as Ophir. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah the man right. and the Lord shall be as Ophir. So you, you you're looking for the, you look at that means that you're looking for, uh, for for a savior, man. Somebody to save you, save you or cover you from from the troubles. All right. So you're not gonna be worried about. You got you got it. No, no, go ahead. Well, even in I the kingdom, too. Oh, you got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Yeah, that's talking about the elect, man. Okay? Now, that's talking about the sons of God, man. All right? Even though, okay, like I said, the Lord, Yahweh Shai came to save all of Israel. So that's, that, they come back on the next side. Right now, the Lord's going to deal with the elect. All right? So the, 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 those, those sons of, of Ophir, all right? That that that's that that's um the, the sons of God that basically um are looked at as, as gold man as precious gold that's what you women are gonna be um, um running after man you ain't gonna be caring about that's my man or how many women he has mm-hmm. all right you're gonna be running to running to that man alone for shelter mm-hmm. that's how it's gonna be in the kingdom in the kingdom we're gonna have many wives man all right some men might have a thousand some, another man might have five thousand another man might have two million yeah this is real stuff man and they're all gonna get along and they're all gonna get along they're gonna be like sisters man and they're gonna <laughs> love each other it's not gonna be the northern tribe get. Uh, um, Judah's yeah, not gonna just, vex yeah, Ephraim. Yeah, yeah. Ephraim's not gonna envy Judah, man. Yeah, they're gonna be. It's gonna be perfect, man. Because like, like I like the way this brother said it. Uh, basically, you, the kingdom is gonna be the principles of of. We're going over the principles of the kingdom, man. And so when you when you hear that, you got to think about well, why is this why is this kingdom so perfect and this place ain't this current world right now? Right, right. Because it's con- this world is contrary to uh, the kingdom of heaven, man. Why? All done by the so-called white man, all right? The devil, all right? Yeah. Esau, Edom, all right? All the fucking laws starting with the, starting with the Rothschilds, the international bankers, all the laws that they passed is fucking to, 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 to destroy you people out there. They rule by deception. They rule by lies. They rule behind closed doors like a bunch of faggots that they are. They're a bunch of Satan worshipers. Uh, their, their comfort in, we were talking earlier, basically in short, Esau is comfortable in chaos, but the nation of Israel, we're comfortable in order because that's our natural state. That's why, you know, we are the way we are because we're not in total order and we can't, Jake, how else Jake is supposed to be in this world? They're supposed to be totally out of order because this, this is not our world, but we're in, when we're in our right place in the kingdom, we're going to be totally in order, totally uh, uh, one with nature and overall totally one with Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, but Esau, how he governs this, this planet or this world as we speak is all through chaos, disorder, evil, mm. wickedness. Why? Because he's he's one with that. Just like, cause, you know why? Because this brother's talking about his job, right? I'm not going to go into detail, but you were like, your your, your, your superior supervisor was like, um, he was an Edomite. He was like, yeah, yeah, don't, 
don't make him get along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I want him not to get along. I yeah. want like you know bad shit going on. Yeah. I like. And I was like, yeah. Why he want that that way? And he was like, well, he gave me the best answer. Well, he's an eater, Mike. Well, that that. Okay, that's, I understand. That's, 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 you know, yeah. I just wanted to harp on that, man. I mean, because e Esau is, is is comfortable in this world you live in now. People living, oh what, over 50, 60% of the people on earth are living on less than a dollar a day. Esau's happy about that. He's happy about Jake killing each other. He's happy that America is one of the dumbest countries in the world. He's happy to censor truth from you. He's happy to poison you with GMOs. We can go and form on that all the things that, make, that pleases the so-called white man to destroy you. All right, but in the kingdom of heaven, we're not gonna the principles like the brother brought out, like the definition of essence. We're not gonna be we're we're gonna be one with order, man, one with righteousness. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I finish this? I didn't finish this. I'm sorry. Okay. It just proves it. So again, Proverbs 20, 29, Proverbs chapter twenty nine, verse two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Like the brother's going into just like that dream, man. We were rejoicing in that dream. Everybody, the, how the brother described it in the video, he said everybody had a glow. I mean, the uh, the elect had a higher glow, mm -hmm. but all Israel had a glow, had an aura. Isaiah 40, 31, we were flying. We were flying. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That would be how he described that. He said we're all we were flying. We we're all talking to each other, laughing while we're laughing. Flying. Yeah. You know, we we're, were making sport of torture, of, of torturing and, and, and fucking with Esau, man. That, like, and then we were talking. I was like, "Yeah, that's gonna be the new PlayStation or, or uh, the 361." <laughs> Esau's gonna be the new 361 game yeah. in the kingdom, yeah. man. Pure entertainment, man. Come, he's gonna be a pure entertainment. Torture. We're gonna talk about like, you know, how, uh, uh, however you want to flip it and pick any entertainment in this time. Esau's gonna be that entertainment, man. All the heathens too. Esau's gonna be the main attraction, right? For our fun. Oh, and like he said, he was like, it was just for folly. Games. Yeah, it was just for fun. It was just to have fun. Like, what do you do when you want to have fun? You, what do you, I don't know, name me something. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like, you go to, you go to Great Adventure, you know what I mean? You to have some fun. You watch a sporting event. You watch, you watch the championship game, right? Exactly. So in the kingdom of heaven, what's going to be fun? To fuck up you so-called white people, man. That's going to be an event. And it's going to be something natural. All right? That's, that's the gospel, man. You know? Mm -hmm. So again, that's when the righteous are a uh, uh, ruling. When the righteous are in authority, the people should rejoice. <laughs> like the brother brought in a video, he said all the people's faces in the video, they were all relaxed, no yeah. no worries. Uh, he brought out that scripture in Revelation, uh, uh, wiping the tears away from my face, uh, 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 um, uh, total joy, no stress. Uh. You know what I mean? Because America is governed by stress. All right? Again, that's why we always bring out this stat. We always bring out what? America bring, makes up 5% of the world's population, but takes up 25 to 30% of uh, uh, antidepressant drugs. You, people take drugs on, on, on trying to not be depressed, okay? And it's mostly, who, who mostly taking those drugs? Our people, man. You know, so people are depressed here, they're down, they're lowly, but the kingdom of heaven is not gonna be that way because why the righteous are in authority? Then it says, but, with the, when, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. You know, enough said on that, you know. When the wicked bear rule the people more, and all you people, and the, even, and that still proves the kingdom, because even the other nations, while they're getting their head beaten in, they're still going to be rejoicing them. Right. I remember Apostle Tar always just going to it, saying, oh, look, because even when um, the heathen see us in power and rulership, starting where Yahweh shy, they're going to be like, oh, thank God they're in power, you know, mm -hmm. because the world's going to be in order, the world's going to get bigger, there's going to be no more fucking wickedness going on in the world, war. man. No, war is you know? over. War is over. Basically, no more wickedness. All righteousness, man. And all your nations will appreciate. Because the scriptures do say, let us go into the high mountain to get their knowledge. Yeah. Right. So they're going to, they, even though we're going to instill it in you, for the most part, we don't even have to because you, they're going to be running to get uh, the knowledge. They're going to be willing. They're gonna, yeah, they're going to be willing. The better word, they're going to be willing to get this, the knowledge that was that is given unto us. All right, Reason. which is overall the universal knowledge, man. Uh -huh. uh, Deuteronomy chapter four, verse six. Therefore, keep, uh, uh, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Yeah, yeah. This is your wisdom and your doing. I'm sorry. It would say this is your wisdom. This is your wisdom and your understanding mm -hmm. in the sight of the nations. Yeah, this is our wisdom and our understanding in the sight of the nations. All right. Yes, the laws and statutes are given unto us, but at the end of the day, all men on earth should be following. 
uh, because the laws and Ten commandments. Because this is this is this, this is what wisdom is. Yeah. It's not just uh, wisdom. It's just um, I don't want to say give it unto us, but wisdom is just one way. Wisdom is is one way to all. all right. So if we say have your beard, grow your beard. So guess what? All the nations gonna have to grow their beard. Yeah. We speak the holy tongue. They're gonna speak the holy tongue. You keep the laws. Dietary laws, they're gonna keep the dietary laws. These are this is all wisdom. Right. And it starts with us. Yeah. It will start with Yahweh Shai. How about Shimon Shai? Okay. Yeah. yeah, all these laws, statutes, and commandments, they have a purpose. It's not like huh. the, the um the Lord just said, Don't eat crab, shrimp, pork, and lobster just just for the hell of it. All right. These 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 particular animals and, and and species or whatever or what have you is um essential for, for cleaning what? The bottom of the ocean, for cleaning the earth. You know, pigs are like uh, uh, natural vacuum cleaners for the earth, yeah. all right? Uh, uh, crabs and shrimps, they're, they're bottom feeders. They clean the, um, the, the, the ocean, man, you know? That's, that's, that's what keeping the earth clean and healthy, all right. right? So you shouldn't be taking that out of the sea and eating it, okay? You know? So, like, with, with, with all the, like, like I said, the land Sabbath, man, you need, you, need to do, you need to give the earth a break to, to, so, so what you can continue to live. Yeah, and that's common sense. Just like, can you work seven days a week, twenty four seven? No, you right. need to freaking, you yeah. need to take a break, man. The fake yeah. news, they got that fucking Friday Saturday <laughs> shit. Yeah, fucking demons, man. Well, you know. Yep. Anyway, so, yep. Um, um, this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great? Who hath the most high so nigh unto them mm -hmm. as the Lord Yahweh our power is in all things that we call upon him for. If it just add to that and um going into Genesis oh, the check. second chapter, these other nations when you, um Genesis the check, second chapter in Ezekiel thirty one and eight, how these uh, other nations actually envied us, man. So we're gonna go back to that, man. Yeah. Going back into what the elder had read of the Nod of Revelation twenty one, man, going back into the what the days of old, man. Yes, yeah, one more verse. Verse 8. And what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? All right, going to show you in Isaiah the second chapter and Micah the fourth chapter that, you know, we're going to be sitting on the high mountains above all you other nations and you're going to flow to us for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right? Yeah, okay. Real quick, I'll read this. This is from uh, Brother uh, GMS. Has 100% truth. We put a good scripture up here. I might as well read it. Mm -hmm. This is Matthew 5 and 14. It says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Yep. You know? and that's beautiful. That's right. Because in the kingdom, we're going to be that top nation, man. Yep. We're going to be that top nation above all other nations, above, above all the other heathens. We're going to be in that in our rightful position. And the Most High is going to put us there, man. All glory and thanks. Mm -hmm. To uh, yet uh, all glory and thanks mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai, man, because without mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai, we wouldn't have that sure that that position back. Man. Okay, all right. But in the kingdom, you know we're gonna get our position back, man. Why? Because we are the salt of the earth. We are we are the light of the world, man, and we're gonna get that glory back. And the brother that had the vision, that had that dream, he saw it, man. He 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 got a glimpse of that, you know. Yeah. So that was that was a, that was a good precept. I got, I got two precepts real quick. Mm -hmm. We got two more minutes. Uh, yeah, right, yeah. I'm going to start with Isaiah 52 and then I'm go with Deuteronomy 30 and then whatever brothers got. All right, this is um, Isaiah 52 and 1. It says, Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. What's that talking about, man? It's really talking about Yahweh Shai. Because through Yahweh Shai comes the volume of the book and these are these commandments. All right? The, 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 whole, the whole volume of the book. That's right. Isaiah, right? What's that? That's Isaiah 52. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. well, we're coming to we're coming to a time where we're awakening. Man, it's a great awakening. An awakening of what? Because Yahweh Shai says that the, the kingdom of heaven is not going to be of any observance. Man, the kingdom of heaven is actually within you. All right. And we're actually seeing the kingdom of heaven, man. Yeah. We see the kingdom of heaven upon the four corners of the earth because we're waking up. Because the hundred forty-four thousand, all right, is gonna is is, is gonna bring that great multitude which no man can number because that's what they're doing. They're prophesying. They prophesy in the four corners of the earth, and they, and then what they do, they bring it in the, the rest of the elect, so they can be sealed, so they can have the kingdom, all right, and so we can take the kingdom before. So it says, "Awake, awake! Put on thy thy strength, O Zion! Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, 
the holy city. And what does that mean? The holy city. All right. The holy city means like what? That we're separate people. We're holy. better people than other other nations. Man, we're a clean people. Contrary to other nations, man, we're people that that know a more upright people. Right, we were supposed to show the other nations how to do this, man, how to be an upright people. Yeah, that's right. That's, li that's literally, yeah. That's literally what we're going to do. We're going to show them how it's done. Yeah. yeah. We're going to show you show you how to do it, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come, man. But henceforth, there shall be, that there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean, man. All right? That's why, you know, we're going to be separate from the world. Going back to um, Second Peter's. The um the first chapter the, um second Peter's one and no the second Peter's two and nine no first Peter's one first Peter's two and nine right all right and then going to um Deuteronomy seven and six and really throughout the whole scripture the Lord separated us man all right the the, the the Lord says that He says no more come in unto thee the uncircumcised and unclean so I mean what yeah you He just gonna build um gonna build the kingdom but you're not gonna have you're not gonna have us going off you're not gonna be over us all right. Nothing uncircumcised, unclean is going to be around us, man. We'll be separate yeah. from the heathens, man. And Esau, again, you will be at the bottom, yeah. man, where you, you belong. belong. Yeah. That's your natural state. Yep. Yeah. All right? You know, we're going to be playing with you, man. You know? And he was being too nice <laughs> about the brooms. Those, oh, were, yeah. those were... Yeah. Those were lava, lava, lava sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, yeah. yeah. those were no, like lightsabers. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, lightsaber <laughs> six. <laughs> he he was a, he misinterpreted. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay, bro. We cleared it up. Again, you know. <laughs> okay, real quick, real quick. Yeah, I'm almost done. It says second verse: Shake thyself from the dust, and that's what we're doing because dust represents confusion. Right. All right. Well, obviously, there's a, if you got Kanye West saying, uh, um, 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 um. I'm the 12 times, even though there's no 12 times of Judah, okay, but you got Kanye, Kanye West saying, Ya A Ya, I'm A Ya. Do you know how many people is going to start to wonder what the hell he's talking about? Oh, he, what are you saying now? He's saying he something? says, he, he, he basically, he's basically saying he's a Hebrew Israelite. Oh, he's he saying says, Ya A Ya, I'm A Ya. What's happening? Hebrew Israelite. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm, a, I'm from the 12 yeah, times of Judah, 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 Judah. So basically, you got, you got niggas in the world that's wicked about the dust, man. All right, look what the Lord said. This, this is prophecy happening. Right. Shake thyself from the yeah, dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of, of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. And who has bands around our necks? All you fucking heathens. Excuse my language, man. What's the Lord going to do when he, when he comes back and to separate us from all you heathens and actually going to give us, uh, give you um, heathens to us as an inheritance? All right? It says here, for thus saith the Lord, you have sold yourselves for naught. We sold ourselves for naught to, 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 to a nation that serves no God. All right? And look what the, and, and look how low the Lord the Lord has brought us, man. Hell yeah, man. And that's going to be the greatest miracle, man. And that was the greatest vision and, and the, 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 special, the, the greatest part of that the brother's uh, blessed, blessed vision mm. was the fact that Israel was actually right, man. Israel was actually in a, um, in a perfect state. That Israel was actually perfect man that was that 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 was the amazing part that we kept the people that the people that came from nothing the people that came a cursed people that forsake their power that forsake the lord and knew nothing about themselves are now a people that a perfect people that that, that, that knows the heavenly father's name and have the perfect and have the commandments perfect in them mm -hmm. come on because how is how is it that they that they had no um they had no sorrow that they had no they weren't crying because what the lord put the commandments in them and they were perfect so that's gonna be the major miracle, man. Right before you go to heat his eyes, it's gonna be the what? The the up the, the, the transformation of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. Right before your faces. The strangers to their salvation. Man, the strangers of wisdom of Simon 5, the strangers of strangers of their salvation. Mm -hmm. Alright? Yeah, and that, that's and basically it. it. And and the brother brought out, and you know, it goes from me and my brother here. He's pointed out uh, all all Israelite men had had hair in their head, man. Nobody was going bald, <laughs> had full <laughs> beards. The woman had their hair. Hey, we love our hair, man. I mean, I do. I, I, I put it out there, man. I'm not happy about this. All right? Hey, I remember when we first got on the truck. I was like, yo, I remember a, a post at the bar. He was like, yeah, man. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's wicked going bald, man. I'm like, oh, yeah. I remember, I remember, I remember that day. You know? Because, you know, <laughs> yeah, we were banging the signs. It's wicked going bald. You know? But that's true. Like, that yeah, song's yeah. that riddle. You know, because yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're not supposed to, not, you're not you're not to go bald. Yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to We're bald. not supposed to go bald. That, that's a curse, man. Yeah. You know? So he, he pointed that out in the, in the video. 
and, and, and women too. Women, women are supposed to have uh, all their hair, man. That's why yeah. uh, women are really, they're all so fucked up because part of it, because they don't got their hair, man. You, if you deal with a so-called black woman, you got to deal with the hair shit. Yeah. That's why I try to deal with women who have real hair. Because you got a woman who don't got real hair, you got to be involved with buying her to weave. And I deal with that shit, man. You got to you gotta hear about their, oh, my hair is bad. And, uh, this, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's part of it. That's part of the reason why they're also, one of the reasons why they're so fucked up because they they don't got their hair no they more. They the glory. Yeah, Wait, that's, yeah, that's yeah, a woman's yeah, glory, yeah. you know? But basically, like back in the brother said, the kingdom's going to be perfect. No more black and black soap crime. What about you? So I want to tell you, teach you guys shit. No diseases. You know, no diabetes, no, 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 uh, hepatitis B, no sexual transmitted disease. I don't know. You know, hey, no. It's not going to be no condoms in the kingdom. Yeah, man. yeah. That's what it, yeah. <laughs> right, it, it, none of you heathens, even you Edomites are going to have condoms in the kingdom, all right? And you Edomites are going to go through, um, <laughs> you, those beautiful forms of pain, man. Right? It's yeah. not going to be no joyous uh, thing. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have the, yeah. the worst of the worst of the Edomites, all right? And, and, and you're going to go through the, the curses double. Actually, I got the curses here, but... Oh, that's because real, real quick, real quick, slack, slack you. Yeah. This is Deuteronomy 30, okay? And it says, and it shall come to pass. 30 what? Uh, 30, the first verse. I'm okay. not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to, just real quick, I'm going to skim through it. It says, and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which we right. receive the curses first. So now what you people are seeing, mm -hmm. you're seeing a switch. Mm -hmm. You're seeing a, cha a, cha a change of places. What is it? A change of places. Trading places. Trading places. places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? Because you, you see what happened in Paradise, California. All right, them rich, them rich top, of the, almost elite. They're not elite, but they're they're of a they're of a stature. Yeah, yeah, high stature. Well, yeah. High stature. Celebrities live over there. Yeah, yeah, see, celebrities see? Yeah, yeah, top celebrities, man. Top celebrities, top celebrities live over there in a, in California, a place called Paradise, and the Lord burned you devils out of there, man. All right, and as you can see, you're seeing the blessings come upon Israel because why? You got Israel start to call upon their power, which is talked about in the apocrypha and throughout all the scriptures, man. Even Yahweh Shai talked about it. He said, he who calls upon me, the same shall be saved. So why is it that now, the Lord is turning back his anger? How's the Lord turning back his anger? The Lord is turning, the Lord had, because the, the Lord had turned his back on us, but now the Lord's introducing himself back to say, listen, my name is Yahweh, and my son's name is Yahweh Shai. Call upon my name, man. Here, here, here you guys are in the scriptures. You guys are my sons and my daughters. You're my people. The, 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 the so-called white man is the devil. All the other nations are heathens. They're going to captivity. Salvation only for you. The Lord's introducing himself again. He's taking the curses off of us again. Because he's introducing himself to us again, man. And you heathens, and what's going to happen? Well, you the valley of dry bones. You have been, the, those, those, those dry bones in the valley of shadow of death, they have this, um, a, a, a sinews in them. Um, sinews, um, yeah. Sinews. Mm -hmm. But having muscle placed upon them, flesh. Mm -hmm. And then and then, and then what? The breath, breath man. Life. Mm -hmm. Okay, the breath. And that's how we go back to what's found five. We're standing boldly. In the face of our enemies, which is all you heathens, all right, and telling like, listen, we are the sons of the living power, man. So you're seeing the the the, the, the blessings come upon Israel, and the curses come upon you heathens, man. And that's gonna be a great trans uh, a, a, a switch, or a, a switch from kingdom to kingdom. Going back to Second Edges um, six chapter, because when it says Esau's the end of the world, it's really the end of the world for all you nations, man. Because all you nations was in cahoots with Edom, man. All right, you didn't say nothing about it when y'all found that we that we that we are the children. Or the children of Israel, the, the the children of God, you guys set up a plan, uh, set up tumults and plans against us, man. So we won't come back to our power. But what what's the odds of it? Because no such thing as odds. All that money, all that in investment that you that you you heathens done to separate us from our power. Now we're coming back to our power, and you're scared to death. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the Lord's giving our brothers, and the Lord's giving the Lord's giving His children, and the Lord's giving giving heathens visions of what's going to happen to you, people, man. Visions of what's gonna happen to you, you heathens, and visions, and visions of, 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 of of the safety and, and, and the bliss that Israel's gonna have, man. The rest, all right. Going back to Hebrews, we're entering, we're about to enter into our rest, man. And you heathens about to enter in that um eternal work, okay? Now that was it on that. I was, you know. Okay. Um, you got, you got some? Yeah, I got one more. Mm -hmm. You go. go ahead. This is yeah. Psalms chapter one twenty six and verse one. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then mm -hmm. was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord hath done great things for them. Wow. The Lord hath done things the Lord have done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. 
They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. What, what scripture is that again? Uh, Psalm 126. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 I started at one. I'm okay. reading throughout the whole thing. It's only six verses. Okay. Yeah, and real quick, who, and who sold the tears? The, the, the um, going back. You know that remind me? That remind me of Amos, oh. where it talks about the the plowers, okay? Mm-hmm. The, the the plowshares and the plowers, all right? Oh, okay. Gonna reap, okay? Well, well and, and um, what he's talking about right there. To, um, go back to me that moment. Stop slacking. Come. On. This is uh Psalm one twenty six mm-hmm. and and fall. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. But who sowed the tears, man? Well, are we not? Did we not build up this wicked place called Babylon? Okay, with with, with blood, sweat, and tears. What about the Native Americans? The Dutchy people got in fucking concentration camps. That's why I'm gonna keep calling it that, man. All right, that's concentration camps. All right. They're so they're so. If you have them in basic captivity over there. Build up your wicked face. What about the southern tribe that you forced, you stole them, all right, and brought them to this land, and, and what, wherever places of the islands you put them, you put you put us at, all right, have them building your wicked infrastructure, st- structure, man, all right. Read that one more time. Con Psalms one twenty six and five. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Yeah, that's the children of Israel. We, we sow the tears, man. Not you heathens, man. You heathens reap the benefits of the children of Israel. Okay, you heathens lick the wounds of the children of Israel, man. Okay, we sow everything in tears, man, to this day. Okay? And the one thing that the one thing that the Lord gave us, you you fucking heathens ain't gonna take it away from us, man. Okay, we got the truth, man. We actually have our power, and we have our power and our big brother. We have your how way out shine, man. And you devils ain't taking it away. Good, brother. Verse 6. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bear Bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing. Yeah, because we're gonna come again, uh, come again with, uh, with rejoicing. We're gonna actually be able to have ch- families and, and children without without having to worry about this wicked system, man. We're gonna be rejoice. We're gonna be rejoicing when we have our children, man. All right, we're not gonna be like, oh my god, am I gonna be in child support? All right, oh my god, is Esau gonna come and put me in lock me and put me in jail? We're not, we're not gonna have to weep and worry about that, man. Mm-hmm. All right, our children is actually gonna be a joy for us. Go ahead. That was it. It says, bringing, I'm going to just read it again. Yeah. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, mm-hmm. bringing his sheaves with him. Yeah, because the, pres- mm-hmm. the, because the precious seed is the children of Israel. But you but you got to weep to have children in this in this earth because of the wickedness of the system. Yeah, exactly. All right? But we're going to have joy in the future, man. We're going to have joy having our children. Was that it on that one? Yeah, that was it. All right, buddy. You want to go with your precept? Yeah, come on. This is a That's the last one, right? Uh, yeah, last one. We got one too, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. A quick uh, a scripture, in, um, you know, describing the kingdom right here, and you know, slaves, other nations, you oh, know, yeah, kind of, uh, yeah. serving us. Mm-hmm. Uh, Isaiah chapter sixty, verse ten. Yeah. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. And who's the sons of the strangers? You talking about you Gentiles, you heathens? Because yeah. we're not gonna build up the walls, man. 60, yeah, yeah. You, you, you heathens. Okay, which are which are our inheritance. When the Lord comes back, this is where this is this is this is where the Christian church have lied to you. The who, who you people call Jesus Christ? It's not coming back to hold hands of all you nations, man. Right. Now, if you think about something, think about this for, for, for a second. If there's going to be a new earth and new heaven, who's going to build up the kingdom on the earth? It's not going to be the, 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 the Israelites. It's going to be you guys, you heathens. You're going to be perpetual slaves. Start with you Edomites. Well, you're not, you Edomites are not going to be a perpetual slave. You're going to be exterminated, exterminated after a thousand years. But you're going to build up the kingdom, man. We're not doing anything. We're going to be pointing. All right? Go ahead, bro. Yep. Somebody's got to scrub the toilets, right? Yeah, somebody got to scrub the toilets. <laughs> the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee. Yeah, talking about your prime ministers, your, your, your politicians, the elite of these, really, you bankers. Start, start with you devils. All right? Mm-hmm. And then the Lord have me meditate on something. You really, you devils, um, it can't. You really hate, you really hate watching, watching this, man. Go back read this. One of the Psalm two. That's another part, um, bigger. But yeah, keep going. Yeah. Right. Um. And, and to minister means to serve. You mm-hmm. know, yeah, they're serve. serve us. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And their king shall minister unto thee, for in my wrath I smote thee. Yeah. In the, in, in the Lord's wrath, He smote us, man. As you can see. Okay. You, it, it got to the point where you got Jake that actually say, "Well, is there a God? Like, I don't be with no God. 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 I'm in the hood. Yeah. God doesn't love us, man." I know God loves these white people. I have family members tell me that all the time. God loves us. Right. How does God love us that we're living in this state right now? No. How does God love us but I got the white man um, coming down to me all the time? So they don't want to hear that shit. Yeah. 
Our people think that the Lord, and, and it's true, read it again. That, that proves where the Israelites That proves that where the Israelites uh, Malachi well, 1 and 4, I loved you, saved the Lord, but you, he so said, saved. wherein have thou loved, loved us. us. That's, ex- that's, exact, that's, that's, ex- that's exactly that. Constantly constantly well, I, I got the, another one right here. Okay, good. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 1, and points to yep. 2. Yep. It says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Which is these so called black Spanish Native Americans. Okay. Saying, you only have I known of, of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. And that's why we're going through what we're going through. Mm-hmm. That's why all these nations are blessed. That's why everything to the nation seems like it's so easy. That's why you have, you have a gook, all right, that has no fucking credit, that can't speak no English, because over, over, and, 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 uh, too much to hear. They have a, they have a, a, a booming to a business, cooking cat and all the abominations, and, and, and they're cashing in, man. All right, you got these dot heads, these dot heads coming from a whole other country. You speak no damn English. And I know this off the fir- first hand experience. Could come get a, have an apartment, get a car, open up a business, start going to school, all for free. All right, because you heathens are in your kingdom. All right, but what happened to the so-called black Spanish American? We're going through our hell. Read that again. Okay. Uh. Uh. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, mm-hmm. and their king shall minister unto thee. Yep. For in my wrath I smote thee. Yeah, the Lord smote us because we were cursed. We was cursed, man. Okay, we were the, we were the, uh, uh, we're in the projects. You've got uh, you Edomites, you are the heathens. You you you've done psychological warfare, warfare, physical warfare. All right, every type of warfare you could possibly you could probably do. Um, warfare in, um, in history. Okay, intellectual warfare. All right, constantly constantly showing us. Uh, our, our, our oppressors are reigning over us. You've done all types of warfare. And that's really the Lord, because the Lord destroyed us. But keep going. But in my favor, I have had mercy but, on you. But, but in the midst of, of, of all, of, 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 us, of, us, of us being our lowest state, you have somebody that's called Abba Bibbs that came in 1969. In the, middle of, in the middle of black people being, well, really the southern tribe and the northern tribe being so oppressed. The one place, Jeremiah 50, 50, Coming back, and, and the Lord, the Lord brought a man called Abba Bivens, saying, "Like, listen, bring us back together. Say, we're the children of Israel, the sons of God, mm-hmm. man. That's the Lord. That's the Lord. What? Could read that, read that again. Um, in my favor, I have had mercy so on. That's me. how the Lord. That's how the Lord's having mercy on us by introducing us back to our fathers again, man. Okay, turning the fathers back to the sons, and the sons back to the fathers. Mm-hmm. Start with Abba Bivens, and to, to to now, to now, where we're where we're at the end of the end. We got Israel rising up all part of." Uh, an exceeding great army upon the four corners of the earth, and you can't do nothing about it, Esau. That's how powerful our Lord. That's how that's how much our Lord loves us. A nation that you thought was destroyed was finished. We were finished, man. We were done. You try to wipe us out, man. How are we how are we proclaiming that we're the sons of God? We're Israel, man. How are we doing that right now, man? Because this, there's a power that exists. And his name is Yahweh, man. That's right. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Good, brother. Verse 11, therefore thy gates shall be open continually. And thy gates mean what? When you go back to Je- Jeremiah 7, the 17th chapter, it talks about the gates of language. But the gate, our gates can be open continually. Ooh. Why? Because there ain't going to be no, no foreigner coming, uh, coming to, coming to uh, enter our gates. And I came talking about, we declare war against you. All right? It's going uh, to be such a fear. Okay, upon uh, upon the, the sons the children the sons of power. Okay, that you he's we don't we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave our gates open, man. We're not gonna have no problems with with, with none of you nations, man. Go ahead. Hey, and the brother's yeah. vision, the, mm-hmm. uh, the the dude had to eat him right up against the wall, and he couldn't. He wasn't even tied up. He couldn't run because there was nothing he can do. That's you. Yeah. You can't. You can't. You might as well leave the door unlocked. These heathens. I mean, these, uh, these heathens. You they know, up in, the door up, up there, up yeah. there, up there in them nice neighborhoods and yeah. big houses, they don't lock their door. Yo, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you know? They don't. They don't. Nope. Same thing's going to be you're happening right. for yeah. us, man. There ain't no fear in their hearts. There's there ain't no, no fear, fear in, 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 in the Edomite's heart, man, in his kingdom. You know? So therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. Mm-hmm. They shall not be shut day nor night. I mean, they're shut day nor night. I mean, we're going to be we're gonna be safe. All right? We're going to be in our paradise. All right? We're going to be in a place of comfort. We're going to be a place of rest. All right? We're going to be a place of ease. We're going to be... We're gonna have e- e- eternal joy, eternal happiness. Okay, go ahead, bro. That men may bring up to thee the forces of the Gentiles. And what's the force of the Gentiles? 
anything that is good, anything that's that, your dainty things, man, any everything that 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 you find precious, we're you're gonna gladly give it to us. Go ahead. Because it's ours anyway. It's ours right. anyway. Yeah. You borrow everything you have. You bought even yourselves. You, you we own you, man. Go ahead. Uh, and that their kings may be brought for the nation. The Rothschild, the Dupont, yep. the Bilderbergers. Okay. Yep. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna destroy you in in the ways that only the Lord could could, could, could describe. We don't know how we're gonna destroy you. In dip, we're gonna have so many different type of torture games for you, devils, man. Because you're gonna go off. Yeah. The, the the type of fear that's gonna be upon you, heathens, man, is gonna be for the record books. Go ahead, brother. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. And that's thus so. saith the Lord. That doesn't sound like the Lord loves everybody. The nations are going to be utterly wasted. Yeah. Wait, I thought the Lord loves everybody. That's right. All right, then. I thought the Lord came back to save all the nations. <laughs> right. Okay. That's the the nation of Israel. Yeah, yeah, the Lord said, I'm not come to bring uh, peace, but a sword. That's right, bro. Mm. Kind of yeah. I'll read right. this real quick. Yeah. yeah so, right. so this is Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 8. The, the brother, uh, the most high is your pie. He put this on the comment board. Uh, hey, hey, Shalom, one brother. Shalom. Shalom. Uh, it says this is the priest, precept master. Yes, yeah, dudes, the precepts, man. <laughs> so it says, uh, this is wisdom of Solomon three and eight. It says, they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, mm -hmm. and the Lord shall reign forever. Uh, they that put their trust in Him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with Him. And grace and mercy is to His saints. And he hath care for his elect. So it's showing you, uh, once again, a separation between uh, the, the nation of Israel and the other nations, man, the other heathens. It's saying right here that we're going to have control and we, we shall rule over them, man. Okay? And it tells you in Revelation, the second chapter, how we're going to rule. We're going to use that scepter, man, and bash them, all, bash them all over the head if, if they go off, you know? <laughs> you know, that's that's how you have dominion over someone. When the word dominion means what? Like, um... Rule. Uh, rule, man. Rule over, We're going to have rule over these other nations, man. And we ain't going to be nice, you know? Okay. That was it. <laughs> uh, you got uh, Revelation? All right, this is Revelation chapter 5. Is it somebody get Deuteronomy 14? All right, this is Revelation chapter 5 and 10. Um, I'll start at 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain and has and has redeemed us to the Most High by, by thy blood out of every kindred, tongue, and people, and nation, and has made us unto our power kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Mm, yeah, so I didn't uh, know it said that much. Read that again one more time. So, huh, from the top? Yeah, just one more all right. time. Yeah. Um, um, and they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, and to open the, scale, uh, the seals thereof. Mm. For thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to the Most High by thy blood, out of every kindred. Yeah, that was that was slain and now redeemed us from the Most High by the blood. How were the uh, the, uh, the nation of Israel redeemed? They were redeemed by the blood of Yahweh Shai. And it said we were slain through all the other captivities we've been in through all the other nations. And we're still being slain on today, being uh, killed, being taken advantage of, being lied to, being uh, slandered against to. We're slain. Mostly because our heritage has been taken away from us. And and we you know we 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 what's your say we die daily we die all the day long yeah, yeah. you know you don't got this truth you you're basically in 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 death a death dead okay we are slain all day long and but it said we were redeemed and bought bought back by the blood of Yahweh Shai uh huh yeah out of every kindred and tongue and people and meaning nation. meaning being scattered abroad meaning the Israelite foreigners it said every kindred and tongue and nation okay so the Lord Brought brought every single Israelite back from all the other nations that they're scattered abroad into. All right. Mm -hmm. Verse ten, and has made us unto our power kings and priests. Unto our power, he has made us unto our power kings and priests. Uh huh. And we shall reign on the earth. Yeah, we shall reign on the earth, and that's what that vision uh, encompassed, man. B basically, the brother got a great vision of the kingdom, but he saw nothing but kings and priests. And that's what we are in our natural state, or that's our in, in, our eccentric character. Mm -hmm. right. All right, that's our full potential. Is, is is what that brother saw in that dream, and the essence of that of the kingdom is is uh what's the word you used earlier, Khan? Use the word um, 
Um, he said uh, principal, uh, right? Principal, yeah. Oh, yeah, principal, yeah. The, it, because it's principles. Because we're going to go back to our principles, the restitution of things, which is what? Uh, the laws being instilled in us, being perfect and not going off. And number one, Yahweh Shai with us, in the midst with us on earth, we're going to be literally with Yahweh Shai, man, from the power of the Holy Father. He's going to be, it's his glory and his face is going to shine on us by way of his wisdom and his love and everything is going to be upon us, man. Mm -hmm. That was it? Okay, so Deuteronomy 14, you had something? Yeah. yeah. Start the top. Yeah, and just read until the Spirit says stop. I think it's only first five few verses to read all the way through. Because basically, uh, this is 14? Deuteronomy 14. I'm sorry, I'm at 28. I'm sorry. Deuteronomy 28. Oh, yeah, 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 it's locked, it's locked. Because, yeah, you go to Deuteronomy 28, it goes into the blessings and the curses, all right? So basically what, what that vision is, is Deuteronomy 28 in the first <coughs> few verses. 1 through 15. 1 through 15, right? You don't got to read the whole thing, but I guess Spirit will tell you when to stop. I think it's the first you will tackle it. Mm -hmm. uh, Deuteronomy 28 1 and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the ways of Yahweh thy power to observe and to do all his commandments which I commanded thee this day that Yahweh thy power will set thee on high above all nations on the earth and all these blessings shall come on, shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of Yahweh, thy power. Yeah, it said the blessings will overtake thee. <laughs> Living righteous will overtake thee. Being, having all your hair will overtake thee. I'm going to do some, some dumb shit. <laughs> having the wisdom and understanding will overtake thee. Not killing your own brothers and your sisters will overtake thee. Okay? Just being totally righteous, whatever else you can think of, will overtake you, man. See, these blessings will overtake us. We follow all the statutes, laws, and, and, and civil... Uh, um, Civil laws and everything that encompasses the laws and statutes is going to be in us and will overtake us. All the blessings will overtake us, which the blessings is the kingdom of heaven. That's why when the brother made the video uh, uh, out of Chicago, he said what? He said to say that we're going to have everything we need is, a, is an understatement, he said. It's really an understatement to say that we're going to have everything we have. It's just it's even more than that, man. It's, mm. it's something else. It's deeper, man. Yeah. It's, the, it's, the, it's the spirit of Yahweh. Yahweh. Yahweh shy, man. That's gonna be in us in the kingdom. You know, we're gonna be beyond, like beyond perfection, man. We're gonna be the, uh, gods on earth. You know. So, like he said, all the stuff that you he saw in the dream is an understatement to say that we're gonna have everything we need. It's just it's even more than that. It's something more than that, man. You know. We are truly uh, 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 an elite people, man. An elite being, man. Nation of Israel. You know, and be people. Uh, do not know it, man, and that's what that's what it's a shame. You got niggas out there want to live it up in this world. You know, I want Lord when I get to the show, Lord I'll do it. Stephen A. Smith, because I'm a sports dude. That motherfucker, oh, man, man, which I have a love hate relationship with him, but I mostly hate his ass. He fucking came up with a video which proves he's a supreme coon. Okay, supreme Uncle Tom saying he lists the reasons why he loves America. Yeah. Wow. Oh man. So he he knew he know how he does screaming and shit. I don't know if you guys know him. You know, so one of them, he, he has a list of five things. Why he why he loves America. Wow. One was democracy, freedom. Democracy. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Fuck democracy, no the freedom, freedom, democracy. Uh, freedom of speech. Simple. You know, so I'm going to dissect each one, Lord willing. I get to it this week. But he, yes, niggas, niggas like that. Anyway, let me just not go, go yes, too, too much. Didn't they make Stephen A. Smith do a public apology about the woman? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's faggot, man. Yeah, ain't no freedom. Yeah, you know, I'm going to use that. You're right. <laughs> you know, but the point is that here it is. You got niggas like that, or anybody else like that, who, who tries to support America or support anything about it. Go vote and all that, but we're 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 way behind, way uh, uh past the uh, the ideas of America, man. In this whole world, how everything operates, man. We're on another plane, man. Okay, and that dream uh captured that. Okay. You know, and, and that's it. You know, um, yeah, real quick, that, that also shows that we could be, oh, we all, we all gonna be together, like the elect, one hundred forty one thousand. We could, go well, willing, we have the number. We're gonna be, cause remember, it says that uh, he said it seemed like we haven't, that they don't see us like that. You know, so we're, we're, well, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, 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 because the elect, they're, uh, you know, the elect is the elect. You know, so we're, that's that proves we're gonna be legends and celebrities. Mm -hmm. Do we see? I never saw Brad Pitt before. I never saw Michael Jordan. You know. But These are great celebrities, other. huh? They see each other. But they, they see, see each other. other. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we're, we're just going to flip the script, man. 
You know, we're going to be them celebrities. We're going to be those people. That's why he said, is it him? Is it him? Mm -hmm. That was beautiful how he broke that down. It